Brought to you by wikivd.com Calico Jack John Rackham, commonly known as Calico Jack, was an English pirate captain operating in the Bahamas and in Cuba during the early 18th century. His nickname was derived from the calico clothing that he wore while Jack is a nickname for John. Rackham was active towards the end of the Golden Age of Piracy which lasted from 1650 to 1730. He is most remembered for two things. His first mate Carl Starling who designed the Jolly Roger flag a skull with crossed swords which contributed to the popularization of the design and for having two female crew members, Mary Reed and his lover Anne Bonny. Rackham deposed Charles Vane from his position as captain of the Sloop Ranger, then cruised the Leeward Islands, Jamaica Channel and Windward Passage. He accepted a pardon some time in 1719 and moved to New Providence where he met Anne Bonny, who was married to James Bonny at the time. He returned to piracy in 1720 by stealing a British sloop and Anne joined him. Their new crew included Mary Reed, who was disguised as a man at the time. After a short run Rackham was captured by Royal Navy pirate hunter Jonathan Barnett in 1720, and was hanged in November of that year in Port Royal, Jamaica. Early life and career Little is known of Rackham's upbringing or early life except for the fact that he was English and born around the year 1682. The first record of him is as quartermaster on Charles Vane's Sloop Ranger in 1718, operating out of New Providence Island in the Bahamas which was a notorious base for pirates known as the Pirates' Republic. Vane and his crew robbed several ships outside New York City then encountered a large French man of war. The ship was at least twice as large as Vane's sloop, and it immediately pursued them. Vane commanded a retreat from battle, claiming caution as his reason. Jack Rackham quickly spoke up and contested the decision, suggesting that they fight the man of war because it would have plenty of riches. In addition, he argued if they captured the ship it would place a much larger ship at their disposal. Of the approximately 90 men on the ship only 15 supported Vane in his decision. Vane declared that the captain's decision is considered final however, despite the overwhelming support for Rackham's cry to fight and they fled the man of war. On 24 November 1718 Rackham called a vote in which the men branded Vane a coward and removed him from the captaincy making Calico Jack the next captain. Rackham gave Vane and his 15 supporters the other sloop in the fleet along with a decent supply of ammunition and goods. Captain Rackham Rackham made a career of plundering small vessels close to shore once he became captain. He and his crew captured the Kingston a small Jamaican vessel and made it their flagship. They made several conquests in the West Indies taking a couple of large ships off of Bermuda. In 1719 Rackham sailed into Nassau in the Bahamas taking advantage of a general amnesty for pirates to obtain a royal pardon and commission from Governor Woods Rogers. Rogers had been sent to the Bahamas to address the problem of pirates in the Caribbean who had started to attack and steal from British ships. In December he captured the merchant ship Kingston. The Kingston had a rich cargo and promised to be a big score for Rackham and his crew. Unfortunately for him the Kingston had been taken within sight of Port Royal, where outraged merchants outfitted bounty hunters to go after him. They caught up with him in February 1719 while his ship and the Kingston were anchored at Isla de los Pinos off of Cuba. Rackham and most of his men were on shore at the time, and they escaped capture by hiding in the woods, but their ship and rich trophy were taken away. Captain Charles Johnson describes how Rackham stole a sloop in his seminal 1724 book A General History of the Robberies and Murders of the Most Notorious Pirates. Rackham and his men were 
at a town in Cuba refitting their small sloop when a Spanish warship charged with patrolling the Cuban coast entered the harbor along with a small English sloop which they had captured. The Spanish warship saw the pirates, but could not get at them at low tide so they anchored in the harbor entrance to wait for morning. That night Rackham and his men rowed over to the captured English sloop and overpowered the Spanish guard there. As dawn broke, the warship began blasting Rackham's old ship now empty as Rackham and his men silently sailed past in the new prize. Rackham and his men made their way back to Nassau where they appeared before Governor Rogers and asked for the royal pardon, claiming that Vane had forced them to become pirates. Rogers hated Vane and chose to believe them, granting them the pardon and allowing them to stay. Their time as honest men, however, did not last long. And Bonnie While in port Rackham began an affair with Anne Bonny, wife of sailor James Bonny, who was employed by Governor Rogers. James Bonny learned about the relationship and brought Anne to Governor Rogers, who ordered her whipped on charges of adultery. Rackham offered to buy Anne in a divorce by purchase but she refused to be sold like an animal. The pair escaped to sea together, voiding Rackham's pardon by stealing a sloop belonging to John Ham. They sailed the Caribbean for two months taking over other pirate ships. Rackham would often invite the crew of ships that he attacked to join his own. Anne became pregnant and went to Cuba to have the child. Capture Trial and Death in September 1720 the Bahamas Governor Woods Rogers had issued a proclamation declaring Rackham and his crew as pirates, although it was not published until October 1720. After publication of the warrant pirate hunter Jonathan Barnett and former pirate Jean Bone advised started in pursuit of Rackham, who was cruising near Jamaica capturing numerous small fishing vessels and terrorizing fishermen along the northern Jamaican coastline. Rackham had come across a small vessel crewed by nine English pirates, and they joined Rackham on his ship for a bout of drinking while at anchor, during which they became intoxicated at Bree Harbor Bay in Jamaica October 1720. Barnett's sloop attacked Rackham's ship and captured it after a fight presumably led by Mary Reed and Anne Bonny. Rackham and his crew were brought to Spanish Town, Jamaica in November 1720, where they were tried and convicted of piracy and sentenced to be hanged. Rackham was executed in Port Royal on 18 November 1720. His body then gibbeted on display on a very small islet at a main entrance to Port Royal now known as Rackham's K. Fate of his crew Anne Bonny and Mary Reed both claimed to be pregnant at their trials, ten days after Rackham's execution and so were given a temporary stay until the claim was proven. Reed died in April 1721 most likely of fever related to childbirth. There is no historical record of Bonny's release or of her execution. George Featherston, Richard Corner, John Davis and John Howell were executed along with Jack Rackham in Port Royal. Patrick Carty, Thomas Hell, James Dobbin and Noah Howard were executed the next day in Kingston. The day after Rackham's trial former crew members John Old Dad the Cooper of Fennis Fennec and Thomas Bourne were separately tried and convicted for mutinies committed in mid-June 1720 off Hispaniola. Nine men who had been caught drinking with Rackham's crew were tried and convicted on 24 January 1721. On 17 February John Eaton, Thomas Quick and Thomas Baker were executed at Gallows Point at Port Royal. And the next day John Cole, John Howard and Benjamin Palmer were executed at Kingston. The fate of the remaining three is unknown. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?